Hello, Living Word. Uh, you know, I know there's, there's nervousness in the air, and it should be. It should be. This virus is fast and moving. There's no antidote. So I understand the concern. But how, as a pastor, you have to ask yourself that question. Do you lead God's sheep through the valley and the shadow of death? How do you do that? So looking through that and studying that and calling around some friends and pastor friends that I respect, ended up uh, getting a uh, text from the mayor's office. And he invited us to all come in, pastors here in Houston. And he, in summary, what he was saying is that we, we do need to be careful. We do need to be careful, but he would love for us to have a, the worship services because he feels that that would help to calm fears, keep people encouraged because they're worried about their children, etc. And so that way, has a, 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 but not if it gets worse, then yes, we have to, he has to make some tough decisions like he did with the rodeo. But uh, in the midst of all of that, we need to space each other out, which we can do in our sanctuary. We can have some space between people, unless they're family members. We don't need to shake hands. We don't need to hug and give each other kisses or anything like that. But we need to give respect the fact that it needs to be spaced unless it's family members. So that was his advice, you know, in trying to function as a pastor. We're trying to make sure that we also have a worship service that is sensitive to you. So we're going to, you know, make sure that the worship service is effective. It does do what it needs to do, but also may not be as long, which I know you probably don't believe, as we normally have. But we want to continue to worship God. We want to show the Lord God that we still trust Him. We still believe, like the nation of Israel, they were in, they were in Gossam when all those plagues was happening in Egypt. But by the grace of God, nothing touched them. They went to war, nobody was killed. God has a way of protecting His sheep and protecting His flock, and we will trust Him in that. So in one way to be wise, but to also demonstrate our trust in God, as a pastor, I feel led to still have worship but to do it respectfully. And this is why I want you to continue to stick with this video because Pierre is gonna tell you a little bit about what we're trying to do under these particular circumstances to make sure that we're wise, but yet we do, we demonstrate trust and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So stay tuned for this video. In the process of all this, let me pray with you before you listen to what Pierre has to say. God, we thank you so much for the fact that in the midst of this, you protect us. You say that you're our shepherd and that you will guard and keep us, that you'll put angels around us, as you say in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. And our job is to stay living right before you. Satan had to go to heaven when, we cho when Job chose to live right. He had to go to heaven to touch Job. So God, we pray that we will be focused on living in your refuge so that we find strength. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for never forsaking us. Thank you for keeping us. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay tuned. Hey, Living Word, just to remind you, yes, we're having church this Sunday, but we will be paying attention to the news to make sure that if anything changes, you will be the first to know, and we will do what we need to do to function within the parameters that God has given us in the city and in the country. But if you're feeling sick, do me a favor. We'd love to have you, but not this Sunday. Go get cleared by your doctor. Please don't come up your sick. We're going to change some things. You know here at Living Word Fellowship Church, we love to hug. We love to give people hand claps and everything else. But this Sunday, we might just kid and play you. Hit you on your foot, toe to toe, whatever you desire. Maybe give you an elbow. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure everyone stays safe. Please, if you are sick, we need you to stay at home this Sunday. You can watch and we'll try to put some material online for you that you can watch later because we always want you to be a part of our service. As you can tell, we at Living Word Fellowship Church, we're continually taking it safe. So the doors will be open on Sunday, therefore you're not touching any door handles. The door handles will also be clean in between services, as well as during service for those who walked in and touched them. We'll also we'll make sure that hand sanitizers are not only placed on the walls, which they've been uh, strategically, but we'll also have them everywhere around our building to make sure that you can consistently wash your hands. Living Word Fellowship Church, please wash your hands when you go to the restroom and when you leave. Also, we want to let you know that we have put some more staff on just for you, not only to clean the chairs from the foyer or the, where we sit or where the cafe is. We're not only cleaning those chairs, but in between services and after services, we will be cleaning all of the kids' toys to make sure your kids' safety is ensured or doing the best we can with what we have. Again, just to repeat myself, we know that it is our job here at Leadership at Living Word Fellowship Church to make sure that we genuinely care for our flock. So if any concerns come from the city, if the city decides to make a decision, we're going to follow along with the city. However, 
We are planning to have church this Sunday, but we want to make sure we take care of you. Also, if you feel sick, please stay at home. But this is not a time for us to kind of figure out what it is or what it may be. Please wait till the doctor clears you before you come to church for yourself and for your kids. Lastly, we're gonna change some things as we talked about. You may not necessarily turn to your neighbor this Sunday. You may not necessarily give a high five or clap. You may not necessarily cough or anything, please don't. But we want you, we want you to be here. But also, we want you to play safe. Thank you.